I watch a lot of do-it-yourself videos on YouTube and try and absorb the tricks and hacks that these people think up which are really brilliant. But there's a big difference between watching somebody else's idea and simply following their instructions and being able to come up with an idea when you're in a situation where you need something. Necessity is the mother of invention. So I have been hoping I would have some idea I would come up with that fixes a problem I have personally. With my welder came this plate with the uh, darkened glass in it to protect your eyes, but it, it has a piece on it that it, you hold with your hand. So all the welding I've been able to try, I've only used one hand on the stick and had to pull this up to my face. Yesterday when I tried it, I can't, I can't see anything through this. So I tried to get a glimpse of where I was aiming the stick with my right eye and then the second the arc was lit to throw this in front of my face. Bad idea. Even a split second of looking at that arc left a little red dot on my retina that I could see in my eyesight. It went away after 15 minutes, but I was determined that was not gonna happen again and I would have to get a welding helmet. So before I did that, I tried to figure out if there was any way I could use this until I could afford one so I can get some practice. I put a strap on it to try and hang it around my ears, just in front of my face. Still couldn't see anything didn't help. I tried floodlights on my piece, couldn't see anything. I took it outside into the bright morning sunlight and when I held it up I could see my hand in front of my face and things around me. But the problem was is that to get an angle on that piece the sun had to be behind my head at a certain angle and the rays of the sun are flooding in the back of this face mask so it does not help much at all. It pretty much seemed like a wash, but that's when I thought if this was a situation, my first situation where if mother, if <laughs> necessity is the mother of invention, I should be able to come up with something to remedy this. When you see photographers taking photos at the beginning of the, tw the 20th century, the shutter speeds on those cameras had to be held open for a long time. So the subjects had to stay frozen, the studio had to be very bright, and when the photographer got behind the, the lens, looked through the lens of that camera, it was washed out by the studio brightness. So they came up with a very simple idea that you see in photographs all the time. They have a black hood that they throw over the back of their head and they put their head inside this hood which makes the, cam the, the piece they're looking at, the surrounding area, very dark and they can see the subjects very clearly. The second I remembered that as a photographer, I knew the way to use, the, I could get around this thing and it was very simple. Just cut out the ass on a pair of jeans. Taped it to the front of the mask. And now, this holds it on my head and shields out all the light from behind that the sun puts. And I'm hands free. This is my first do-it-yourself that I could, I did not see this anywhere on the, the internet. It probably is there. Anybody who got this crappy mask with their welders and was trying to figure out some way to use it, it may be there. I didn't see it. So I'm, I'm happy to just have come up with something that fixed a problem for me. And if it helps somebody else who got this crappy mask, great. <laughs>